Hi everyone. So welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Tinvas. So in this session, so we are going to discuss so one interview question in inner classes. That is, how to instantiate non-static inner class? Question. How to instantiate non-static inner class? Non-static inner class. So we know that. So inner classes are static inner classes are there. Non-static inner classes are there. So now here the question is, for example, so take one outer class inside. So I am writing one inner class. So this inner class is a non-static inner class. So before that, if you write that static modifier, then it will become a static inner class. But it's a now it's a non-static inner class. Inside, inside. So there is a method. So like void. So method m method is there. And inside some logic is there. So now, I want to access so inner class method M. So M is a non-static method. To access non-static method, inner class object is required. And inner class also a non-static inner class. So we need to means what create object for inner class with the help of outer class. So first, in this case, suppose so we are writing is the main method in outer class from the outer class if you want to access directly you cannot create object for inner class so first we need to create object for outer class outer here it is outer class object obj1 equals to new outer class new outer class first we need to create object for outer class with the help of outer class object now we need to create object for inner class. So outer class object dot obj1 dot dot. Now we are creating object for inner class. This is what we call dependency. If you want to instantiate inner class, so first we need to take permissions from outer class. And here, so we are collecting that address into obj2 obj2. And here is the outer dot inner. So obj2 is a variable, a user defined variable of class type, and the class is a inner class of outer class. So this is object creation syntax. If you want to instantiate inner class, it is a non static inner class. First, we need to instantiate outer class. With the help of that, we need to instantiate inner class, and then we can access the members simply obj2 dot the method name is what m that method we are accessing this is object creation process okay so hope you understood well for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you thank you all